Okay, today I'm going to show you how to hook your auto reset circuit breaker into the line for your complete kit. I've already marked mine out about five inches in here, about another inch and a quarter here, so that my fuse will go inside here and then we'll end up building this up to finish up our length here. Okay, so very important that you strip your ends about a quarter inch. On this, I use this uh, really nice stripper here to do it. Okay, there's uh, one. Here's my other one. Okay. Now on this end, we want to put our heat shrink on first as always, so we don't get caught without it. You always want to put your heat shrink on first so that it's on there. Because once you put your end on there, it'd be, you have to take your end off or get another end and start over if you don't do it. Okay, so the big end and the small end. This first short end takes your small eyelet. I'm gonna use my pneumatic crimper here to do this. And the other end, I'll put the bigger one on, which will go to the battery, like so. And again, my pneumatic crimper just makes life easier on my hands. Okay, then I'm going to solder them up. Now, I always take just put a little bit of solder between the soldering gun end and my connector, just to get the heat to transfer quicker. Quicker, that's a nice word, but quicker into my deal. Okay, there's one. And now I'll do the other one. Okay, so those are soldered. The crimp soldered really nice. Okay, we'll move our heat shrink up. like so on that one and like this. You can use a Bic lighter or a match or anything to heat shrink this down or to shrink this heat shrink down. I like the heat gun because I do a lot of these and I'd run out of Bic lighters if I had to do them that way all the time. Okay, so there's, there's that. That's ready to go. So now our short piece is what we want to do. So again, strip each side. On this short one, you don't have to put the heat shrink on first, which is a good idea because it, it's so short it might actually heat up the uh, heat shrink and shrink it down a little bit before you're ready to. But I will get it ready. Okay, again, you're going to need a, a big terminal and a small terminal, like so, which will be in your package and put one on one side and one on the other. I'm going to use my pneumatic crimper to do this. All the kits that I do, the super kits that I build for you guys, are all done this way. Pneumatic crimp and soldered. That makes it about as bulletproof as you can get. Okay, there's one side. And the other side. Okay. We'll let that cool down for a moment. Actually, we won't even let it cool down for a moment because I have a backup here that we'll use real quick. So we can get the video through quicker. Okay. So that, see how that slid right over the small end? Okay. Then again, we'll heat shrink them down to seal them up, make them safer. Okay, now for your auto reset circuit breaker, just pull the nuts off. And then you'll notice that on 
the boot, there's a bunch of lines that you can cut. I always cut the ends out for the super kits when I build them up for people. And this actually will be a kit that I build up for somebody. So your kit might be famous. Okay. And then this end, the end that will end up going to the battery, always goes on the gold post. And it's also marked on there, positive and negative, right on the circuit breaker. One side on, put the other side on. Now what's important here is that you get these tight. Okay, so tighten them up nice and tight. Put your cover on like so, that'll keep it safe. Okay, so that end's done like so. You also can put your black sheathing over it. Okay. And there you have it. That's how you put your circuit breaker fuse in there is like that. And when you're all set up and done, it'll end up looking like this with your other end on it. So it'll look like that. So your other end will be on. Remember, red always goes to, towards the... Uh, inside of the MOSFET, and this the black always goes towards the outside. All right, so that's that one. That's your circuit breaker install.